Hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Let us look at this question from a previous year gate paper. Dhoni as well as the other team members of Indian team dash present on the occasion. So this is a fill in the blanks question. We need to fill this blank with the options given in order to make the sentence grammatically correct. The options given are where, was, has and have. So this type of a question again falls under the category of subject verb agreement. We have learned about subject verb agreement in our previous video. The basic principle of subject verb agreement is that the subject and the verb of a sentence must agree with each other. So if the subject is singular, the verb is singular and if the subject is plural, then the verb will also be plural. So the main task for us is to recognize which is the subject in a sentence and which is the corresponding verb. Because in examinations, the sentence might be presented in such a manner that it will be a little tricky to find out what the main subject is and what the corresponding verb is. So let us look at this sentence. Dhoni as well as the other team members of the Indian team dash present on the occasion. So we want to find out the correct form of the verb in this sentence. The subject has been given and we need to find out the corresponding verb. The options are also given in the form of where, was, has and have. Now clearly option C and option D are incorrect because present on the occasion is going to take either a where or a was, right? Was present on the occasion or where present, is present and so on and so forth. So has and have is incorrect. We need to find out whether the subject in this sentence is singular or plural. Now, since they have said Dhoni as well as the other team members, this seems like a plural subject. Dhoni as well as the other members of the Indian team. So, this appears to be a plural subject and so the verb should also be plural. However, that is not the case. In this sentence, we have a subject, comma, a phrase, then again a comma and then the verb. So, the sentence is in the form of a subject plus a phrase which is given within the comma and then I have the verb. So whenever a phrase is following the main subject of a sentence, we need to understand that the verb is always going to take the form of the main subject. This kind of a phrase which is also known as connective phrase does not change the number of the subject. Why is this called a connective phrase? Because it is connecting two sentences. Instead of saying Dhoni was present on the occasion and other members of the Indian team were present on the occasion, I'm combining the two sentences and writing it in form of one, right? So this is a connective phrase and connective phrases do not change the number of the subject. So since our main subject in this case is singular because we are referring to one particular person, the verb is also going to be singular and the correct answer is going to be was. So the final sentence will be Dhoni as well as the other team members of Indian team was present on the occasion. Seems a little wrong to say it out loud but that is the correct format. Whenever you have the main subject, comma a phrase comma the verb the verb always takes the form of the main subject this phrase does not change the number of the subject so let us look at a few more examples to understand this point further mathematics in addition to history and science is taught here mathematics comma a phrase comma the verb taught here. So the verb is going to take up the form of the subject which is singular. Mathematics is the name of a subject. So if I'm referring to mathematics, physics, chemistry, history, these are all subjects and they are singular nouns. So even though I have in addition to history and science, I am not referring to a plural noun of mathematics, history, science. Rather, I'm only referring to the main subject, comma, a connective phrase, 
comma the verb so the verb takes the form of the main subject which in this case is singular so the verb is also singular mathematics in addition to history and science is taught here melanie along with some members of her family wants to return home before evening falls so although we are talking about melanie as well as some members of her family it may seem that the subject is plural and the verb should also be plural plural form would be want but that is not so since we have put the connective phrases in commas it is not going to change the number of our main subject which is singular so melanie along with some other members of her family wants to return home several members of the society including shreya were willing to aid you in this case the main subject of the sentence is plural so several members of the society is the main subject which is plural so the verb is also going to take up the plural form peanut butter combined with bread and jelly is a tasty snack so in this example the phrase is not put inside commas but that does not change the subject verb agreement that will be applied in this sentence instead of giving a comma i have written it together and that is also correct so peanut butter combined with bread and jelly is a great snack mark as well as his friends plays the violin right this is again something that seems to be wrong when you say it out loud because you are clearly referring to a number of people you are referring to mark as well as his friends but no we are going to always focus on our main subject which is singular so mark as well as his friends plays the violin lastly the manager together with his employees works late on thursdays so the manager is singular and so the verb is also going to be singular so these are the connective phrases which do not change the number of the subject combined with coupled with accompanied by added to or add, in addition to including along with together with as well as so if in a sentence in your examination you find any connective phrase which is starting with combined with coupled with in addition to or all of these these are all additive connective phrases and they will not change the number of the subject in the given sentence but can you think of a connective phrase or a connective word or a conjunction which is going to change the number of the subject in the sentence the word is and and is a connective word which is going to change the number of the subject and therefore change the verb so let us look at all the sentences that we saw as examples and replace the connective phrases that we have used with the word and let's see mathematics history and science if i say mathematics history and science i'm referring to three separate subjects and my verb is going to become plural so mathematics history and science are taught here melanie and some of the other members of her family want to return home before evening falls right so these are the little tweaks which make english language very interesting if you say along with then it's singular verb however if i replace it with and melanie and some other members of her family the subject becomes plural and so the verb is also going to become plural so melanie and some members of her family want to return home before evening falls several members of the society and shreya were willing to aid you so in this case several members of the society and shreya is a plural subject and the verb is still going to remain plural in this case mark and his friends play the violin mark and his friends play the violin the manager and his employees work late on thursdays now what about this sentence peanut butter bread and jelly is a tasty snack is this grammatically correct yes if i'm referring to the specific combination of peanut butter bread and jelly which is supposed to be eaten together it's a specific type of a sandwich 
then the verb is going to remain singular. So if I'm referring to the specific combination of peanut butter, bread and jelly, then the verb is going to remain singular. However, if I want to refer to these three items as separate items, then the verb is going to become plural. For instance, if I say peanut butter, bread and jelly are no longer available in the market. So I'm referring to three specific things and the verb is also going to become plural. So peanut butter, bread and jelly is a great snack. In this case, I'm referring to the combination of peanut butter, bread and jelly eaten together. It's a great option. However, if I'm referring to three of the objects separately, peanut butter, bread and jelly are no longer in stock. If you think of an Indian food combination, maybe we can think about idli and sambar. So I'm referring to the combination of idli and sambar because it's generally taken together. So if I'm referring to that particular combination of idli and sambar, then it is going to take a singular verb. So idli and sambar is a good breakfast option. But if I'm referring to them as separate subjects, idli and sambar are finished. So I'm referring to both idli and sambar are finished. Now coming back to our topic of connective phrases, let us look at this question, which is also a previous year gate question. Tuberculosis together with its effects ranks one of the leading causes of death in India. So this was a sentence correction question where we need to replace the underlined phrase with one of the options given in order to make the sentence grammatically correct. So the options given are ranks as one of the leading causes of death, rank as one of the leading causes of death, has the rank of one of the leading causes of death and are one of the leading causes of death. So from the options we can see that we need to apply the subject verb agreement rule because we need to find out the correct form of the verb. How can we find out the correct form of the verb? We need to first recognize what is the main subject of the sentence and whether it is singular or plural. In this sentence again we have used a connective phrase which is additive in nature together with its effects and we know that this connective phrase is not going to affect the main subject. It is not going to change the number of the main subject. Is the main subject singular or plural in this case? We are talking about a particular kind of disease. So the main subject is singular. So the verb is also going to be singular. So from the options, we can straight away eliminate those which have a plural form of the verb. So are one of the leading causes of death is incorrect. Similarly, rank as one of the leading causes of death is also incorrect because in both the cases, they have taken a plural verb. So we are left with A and C, ranks as one of the leading causes of death or has the rank of. Has the rank of is not the correct way of saying. We do not say that so and so person has the rank of one. We always say that the person ranks one, right? So we are left with option A, which is the correct answer. So the main confusion among students will be between A and B, ranks as or rank as because we are saying tuberculosis together with its effects. So it might seem that it's a plural subject. However, we are using a connective phrase here. So it is not going to change the number of the subject which is singular in this case and the verb is also going to be singular. So the correct sentence is tuberculosis together with its effects ranks as one of the leading causes of death. So we can see that subject verb agreement is a very important part of the entire verbal ability section. It can be asked in the form of fill in the blanks, in the form of sentence correction. Under subject verb agreement, there are a number of rules. One of the rules we have covered in our previous video and today we have learned yet another rule. If you have any doubts or questions, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. All the best.